and welcome to the training module ZenApp and Zen Desktop 712 product release training. The standalone VDA installers are much smaller than the full product ISO. They more easily accommodate deployments that use electronic software distribution packages which are staged or copied locally, have physical machines or have remote offices. In ZenApp and Zen Desktop 712 there is a new small size standalone installer for remote PC access the VDA Workstation Core Setup.exe standalone package. Select each card to see what you will learn in this section. The VDA Workstation Core Setup standalone package is now available in addition to the existing VDA Workstation Setup standalone package. The VDA Workstation Core Setup package installs a VDA for desktop OS that is optimized for using remote PC access on a physical machine or on a VM that is not being used as a master image. It is the smallest VDA for desktop OS installation package currently available. It only installs the core services required for operation. It does not install components for AppV, Profile Management, Machine Identity Service and Personal VDisk. Also, it does not install Citrix Receiver for Windows. The new VDA Workstation Core Setup standalone VDA installer is available for download from the Citrix website. Use your Citrix account credentials to access the ZenApp and Zen Desktop 712 download page and download the product ISO file. Here we see the initial setup page for the VDA Workstation Core Setup installer. Though there are the standard options for HDX 3D Pro Mode, remote assistance, real-time transport for audio. The main task here is to install the Citrix Remote PC Access and VDI Core Services Virtual Delivery Agent components only. It is worth mentioning that even after performing the Remote PC Access installation, it is possible to install additional components at a later time using the full VDA package installer. VDA Workstation Core Setup can also be installed from the command line. Please refer to the Remote PC Access VDA Installer command document in the Additional Resources pane for more detailed information on command line installation. Dynamic synchronization of the keyboard layout from the client to the VDA during a ZenApp and Zen Desktop session enables users to switch between preferred keyboard layouts on the client device. This provides a consistent user experience when, for example, switching the keyboard layout between English and Spanish. Select each card to see what you will learn in this section. Click the tabs to learn more. When the user switches the keyboard layout on the client endpoint from one language to another, they'll briefly see a message while the synchronization is in progress. They can then continue working with a new desktop layout. This feature is supported with Citrix Receiver for Windows 4.6, the 712 Desktop OS VDA and the 712 Server OS VDA. There are some notable limitations of this feature. Remote applications which run with elevated privileges can't be synchronized with the client keyboard layout. For example, starting the app with the Run As Administrator option. To work around this problem, manually change the keyboard layout on the VDA side or disable the UAC on the VDA. If the client changes to a VDA unsupported keyboard layout, the VDA will disable the keyboard layout synchronization feature because it treats it as an attack. To work around this problem, the user should re-log on to the session and re-enable keyboard layout synchronization. When running RDP as a published application, using the Alt plus Shift hotkeys to change the keyboard layout will not work. To work around this issue, the user can use the language bar in the published RDP session to switch keyboard layouts. This feature is disabled in Windows Server 2016 due to a third-party issue which may introduce performance risk. The feature can be re-enabled in the VDA's registry at HKey Local Machine Software Citrix ICA ICA LME. Add a new D-word key called Disable Keyboard Sync and set the value to zero. From the Citrix Receiver for Windows System Tray icon, select Advanced Preferences then Local Keyboard Layout Setting. Choose Yes to use the local keyboard layout rather than the keyboard layout provided by the desktop VDA. It is also possible to enable and disable the feature using a WFICA32.exe switch from the command line. Please refer to the keyboard layout synchronization document in the additional resources pane for more detailed information such as enabling or disabling this feature from the command line. 
The Citrix Customer Experience Improvement Program, CIP, is designed to improve the quality and performance of Citrix products through the analysis and anonymous statistics and usage information collected by certain Citrix products and components. Now additional components can participate in the CEIP. Select each card to see what you will learn in this. New to this release, the VDA component can participate in the program and you are now automatically enrolled in the CEIP when you install a Windows VDA. As part of the VDA CIP data collection, anonymous statistics and usage information for graphics, printing, devices, multimedia, app experience and host core is periodically collected and sent. Also, Citrix Profile Management can now participate in the CEIP. Customers automatically participate in the CEIP when installing the VDA on a machine. Managing participation on VDAs can be done through the registry as shown in the screenshot. If you change the registry setting before installing the VDA, that value will be used. By default, the Enable property is hidden in the registry. When it remains unspecified, the Automatic Upload feature is enabled. Using PowerShell, the New Item Property commandlet can also control enrollment in CEIP. Here's a syntax for disabling VDA participation. The first upload of data occurs approximately seven days after you install the VDA. Please refer to the Citrix Insight Services 712 document in the Additional Resources pane for further information. Managing CEIP participation for profile management is done through an Active Directory GPO setting, Citrix HD policy, or a UPM INI file. The policy name is Customer Experience Improvement Program and in UPM logs the current status will be shown with the CEIP enabled parameter. HTML5 video redirection is a must-have feature, not only due to the rising popularity of HTML5 video and the impact of server-side rendering on server scalability, but also because this technology is a prerequisite to effective server video load management. This feature is now available with ZenApp Zen Desktop 7.12. Select each card to see what you will learn in this section. Click the tabs to learn about the capability. HTML5 video redirection provides the best balance between smooth audio and video display and server scalability for HTML5 video content in a virtualized environment. In 7.12, this feature is available for internal websites only as it requires the addition of a JavaScript customization to web pages hosting HTML5 video content. The functionality of HTML5 video redirection is similar to and provides similar benefits as HDX flash redirection in ZenApp Zen Desktop. If the JavaScript has not been added to your internal web pages and the user plays a HTML5 video, ZenApp and Zen Desktop will fall back to server-side rendering. At the time of writing, the following VDA server-side browsers are supported. Note that HTML5 video redirection is not supported with Microsoft Edge. The following video controls are supported play, pause, seek, repeat, audio and full screen. This feature is controlled by a new multimedia policy setting HTML5 video redirection which is not enabled by default so this needs to be set to allowed. In addition the HDX policy Windows Media Redirection must be set to allow for HTML5 video redirection to work. On the client side, Citrix Receiver for Windows 4.6 or higher is required, or Citrix Receiver for Linux 13.5 or higher. The JavaScript files hdxvideo.js and hdxvideomin.js are found in the Program Files folder, as shown here, after installing the VDA software. Customization instructions are also in this location, but in short, configuration involves taking the supplied JavaScript files and copying to a web server, then adding the reference to the location of the htxvideo.js and the htxvideomin.js JavaScripts in the HTML page where the videos are embedded. The reference needs to be ahead of any other JavaScripts or JavaScript references.